think one of the best parts was having a lot of feedback on developing the precise health systems research question that you wanted to ask. Because from there came, you know, if you have the question right, you can actually start outlining the methods and and the process. I really enjoyed how the course started by outlining the theoretical considerations, like you know, positivist, constructivist, pragmatist. I thought that was a really good foundation on which they then built methods. Um, biggest learning points for me in the class was learning from my peers. Throughout the course, after each um, sort of section, we would have presentations of each individual in the class's plan for their own research as a PhD student or hypothetical research if they hadn't got a plan completely solidified. And that helped, first of all, it was very interesting to learn what people here are doing, but it also helped see them think through similar challenges and it helped us as a class kind of support and productively critique their plan um, to see where the weaknesses could be in how, you know, maybe they're gathering a certain type of data, but they hadn't really thought through how that would answer their question. One of the strongest points about the class, of many strong points, was uh, the lectures that focused on cross-cutting issues. So no matter what type of health systems research you're doing, and no matter what methods you're using, thinking about gender and human rights in particular is ap applicable to no matter what you're doing. And to me, the thing that struck me most was that uh, the ambiguous nature of, of what we mean by health systems research and the fact that it's, it's really is a new field, or at least it's a field that hasn't really been developed to the extent that we probably need it to be developed to um, improve health throughout the world. Uh, one of the, the, the things that I really took away from the course was the need to understand a range of different uh, methods, uh, research methods, so that, um, you know, if, you, if you're trying to tackle certain problems to do with health system research, that you have the tools to be able to, um, to understand those issues. The thing that I really enjoyed about the course was the fact that it was so interactive. So I, um, so most of the sessions uh, started off with a presentation, but then quickly opened up into a discussion. I found that really helpful. So one of the, the interesting things that I took away from the course was the idea of um, epistemology and your approach to understanding of knowledge and how that fits in with your your worldview for your, your research and um, the thing I took home was that you don't necessarily perhaps have to fall strictly into a constructivist or a, a positivist type of epistemology but this notion of pragmatism or a pragmatist approach as a kind of third way and how that might be particularly relevant for um, health systems research. Yeah, so this course came at the end of the year for me and throughout the year I'd taken a number of different methods courses so quantitative um, biostatistics approaches and and qualitative methods and I'd also taken mixed methods courses and this class was great because it essentially integrated all of these things and showed how you could use any one of these approaches or combine them um, for the sake of health systems research. The, the course will make most sense to you as a doctoral student because it's, uh, for instance, you, you know, you're learning about methods in other classes and things. So this course sort of brings it all together. And I think if you haven't, if you haven't already learned some of the methods or not familiar with some of the issues, you can still participate in the course, but perhaps you wouldn't get as much out of it. So I think the readings were really helpful and walking us through what good research was and what bad research is like to compare the two and to see examples of what people had done in the past and right from the get-go we had to think about issues such as gender equity human rights and how we can incorporate that into our research programs and then how to translate what we find out into policies and then who would be really interested in what we're doing even if they decide not to go into research i think it's a good opportunity to think about what health systems is and some major concepts that are like some major concepts and things like new things that are coming up in the field of health systems research such as complex adapt adaptive systems and and it put together a lot of like things that I probably hadn't thought of before the class it puts it all into perspective and then we started basically from 
like what is research, the concepts behind it, and then we built it up gradually to what a research design is, a proposal, and then at the end of the day, we we're made to actually design and come up with our own research idea and research proposal, and I think it was a good design. Baby.